This was shoe. Where are you? Miss Washu. Miss Washu. Did you need me? Oh, <laughs> there you are. <laughs> oh my, wow. So you have Ryoko today with you, huh? Instead of Tenchi. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you're playing doctor again, aren't you? I'm warning you, Mihoshi, don't you touch anything around here. Okay. Huh? By the way, how was that clay guy? Did he enjoy the positively lovely gift from me? Oh, yes. After we got there, he was in a violent rage carrying on and on, but when I handed him your gift... Yes, yes. <laughs> well, he, how shall I put it, kind of turned white, you know? Uh-huh. And then, after a while, he started to tremble violently. Oh, my! And tears started streaming down his cheeks. And then what did he do? He went wild, if, if you know what I mean. He went wilder than before. Oh, well, I'm so very happy he liked my gift so much. <laughs> He demanded that I compensate for the damage. Really? Oh, since my mother's an authority on that antique stuff, I had her appraise it, and it turned out that it was... A replica of a chamber pot from galaxy prehistoric civilization in Meow Meow Paleozoic Era. The cheap kind you can find in any souvenir shop. Oh, wow. How did you know that? I should know better than anyone, because it was me who fabricated it 20,000 years ago just to make some quick, easy money. Oh, I see. Well, anyway, when I told him that... Yes? Turn white again. Isn't he a helpless fool? <laughs> Such a fool! <laughs> 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 Ooh, for once, I actually sympathize with that octopus head, Dr. Clay. Oh, no. I, I almost forgot. I had a message for you from Galaxy Police. A message? Yeah, uh, it was about Zero. No, uh, Ryoko. Uh, they were asking if they could borrow her from you. What for? Well, you see, Mr. Culprit, well, it seems Mr. Culprit seems to have lost his memory. Lost it completely? Well, not completely, really, but, um, well, what, what was her name? Uh, the one that Mr. Culprit was talking about. You mean Tokimi? Y yes, yes, that's it. You know, that portion of his memory relating to Tokimi, that oh, part... I see. Hmm, just as I expected. So, you knew that I knew that you knew, Ms. Washu? Uh, the same portion is missing from Ryoko on my mean zero's memory also. Is that so? Well, then, <laughs> can't be helped, I understand. I'll just... I'll just tell them that at headquarters. Mm, sorry. Oh, <laughs> you're very welcome. <sighs> I don't know. <sighs> I think I should be going. Oh, oh you had a hard day, Mihoshi. Sleep well. Thank you. Now, good night, Ms. Washu Ryoko. Memory loss, hmm? To me, it looks more like some powerful protection mechanism at work, rather than memory loss. Oh, it doesn't matter. I think I'll go to bed now. <laughs> hey, let me go! Release me! Damn you, Washu! Hey, Washu, Washu! Washu! Washu, damn it! Washu! Hey! Hey! Washu! Hmm. Hey, do you hear me at all? Hello, hello there. Washu? Dear little Washu, are you there? Washu? Washu? Hey, anybody? Uh, uh, <laughs> Washu? <laughs> Washu? <laughs> <laughs> Lady Tokimi, I have made the appropriate treatments on Clay and Zero. So you have. 
Anyone able to undo the memory blockage will be able to come here. There seems to have been another battle. Yes, at irregular point one, point two. No test required. The reproduction process has already completed itself following the battle. That boy, what will happen to him? You are looking into the future, aren't you, Lady Dukini? I wonder what lies beyond that. Sisters, why are you there? Well, whatever it is, there is no doubt of new possibilities. I am not sure of that. Shall we initiate a move? Do not lay a hand on him. I understand. You should not lay your hand on that boy. You should not fight against him. Mommy? Please release me! Mommy! Mommy! Please, Mommy! Please! <laughs> You're so cute, Ryoko. It's all on tape now. I'll release her in a little while. This is what they mean when they talk about the pleasures of motherhood. Don't leave me here. Don't leave me behind, please. I don't want to be alone. It's dark. It's scary. 